And hello everyone, welcome back to some Final Fantasy VIII Remastered Episode 2. Oh, oh, I can't believe we're doing this. I really can't. I'm... Oh, I love this game so much. I really am sorry if my constant gushing gets on anyone's nerves, but hey, you know, if you're passionate about something, I think you should show it. So, anyway, uh, as promised, I have been doing a little bit of leveling. Well, not leveling, but grinding for ability points. Uh, against the fish that we saw last time. Uh, in the process, Squall has reached level 8, Quist is level 9. And I do apologize, I said something last time uh, to the effect that enemies scaled uh, relative to Squall's level, but it's really just the average party level and some other fancy maths. But basically, all you need to know is the stronger you are, the stronger the enemies are going to be. So, again, in this playthrough, I'm going to try and limit my leveling. Um... Not as to the ex probably not to the extent that I did initially uh, in my previous Let's Play, but I still don't want to uh, level too much. So, anyway, uh, yeah, I need to check my GFs. So, Quetzal Kotal uh, has learned the card ability, and that's really all I've done. I've made sure he's learned that, so now I can turn enemies into cards once they're weak enough. And when that happens, you don't gain any XP, but you still gain AP. So that's uh, that's crucial if you want to do a low-level run. And now I've decided I want to learn the card mod ability as soon as possible, which is going to take a while to learn with 80 AP needed, but um, that can turn cards into items, which is uh, super, super helpful if you um, if you don't like drawing magic from enemies too much. But uh, that's about it for Quetzalcoatl, and Shiva is still learning strength. Now, we're only going to need one more fight against the fishies in order to learn that, so I think we might as well. Um, I'm going to do a quick cure on Squall. We need to get some more cure spells, though. That is a, that is a big uh, necessity for us. Um, so, yes. I th Actually, you know what? I don't... We can't get the Cure spell from the fishes, but we can get more blizzards, and I do need those too. But there is another enemy that can give us blizzards, and possibly Cure spells, I can't remember. Uh, usually you can fight these things that I'm thinking of around the mountains. So we'll see if we get lucky. Is it going to be the right enemy? Is it going to be... No, it's going to be more bite bugs. Uh, okay, we want something called a Glacial Eye. But, um, hey, we can get some more fire magic from this thing, I guess. And we can try to card them. If possible. Oh, I didn't select the card ability, though. So, actually, we're not going to be able to just yet. But that's okay. We'll get a few more scans. And then murder these things. Pretty sharpish. But, um... Yeah, we. I can't wait till we can learn the strength junction with Shiva because then we'll be able to do more damage. Or at least with one character at the moment. And I'm probably going to swap Shiva to Squall. Because I like Squall being the one kicking out the damage. It's just the way I am. I like my main characters to be the most physically powerful, usually. I don't know. Am I weird? I'm, I'm, I'm messing up these timings for the trigger, I'm telling you right now. It's not good, man. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cast a fire spell. It's actually three o'clock in the goddamn morning, but uh, I just, I needed to, I needed to play this. I really did. Now we're not going to get enough, oh, you see that's, that is annoying that we're going to get XP from that, but again, it's not the end of the world, you know? I am going to gain some levels. It's just the way things go, and 2 AP. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my junctions. I should have done this uh, straight away, actually. I'm going to change. Uh, act, no, I'm gonna, I might as well swap the GFs around. So, let's go to the switch command. And junction exchange. Now, this is really a nice feature, because throughout the game, you're going to have to swap things around characters, like, you know, GFs and things like that, magic. Um, because the game frequently likes to unequip everyone of 
all this stuff and you have to redo it, which is annoying. And unfortunately, that this uh, this command doesn't help that, but uh, at least they give you this option for uh, quick changing. So, Quistis and Squall. There we go. That should mean Quistis now has Asuna on her magic, yes. And um, we're going to give her the card ability instead of... Um, see, I would like to be able to draw still. That's the problem. You are limited at this point. Uh, and something Quetzalcoatl is useful, but then again, so is magic. We'll get rid of the draw command for now. We'll... I mean, the, the good thing is, you can still draw with Squall, and then swap some magic over back to Quistis, so it's, it's... You do have options, you know. Uh, let's change this. We want the... It doesn't really help too much, but the fire spell does increase our magic a little bit more. And Squall, you've got sleep on your spirit. And that's really our best option right now, so... Yes. Now let's see if we can find a Glacial Eye. I really would like to find one, if possible. No, three bite... Three bite bugs, really? Three of them? Uh, you know what? We're going to show off the running away, I think, if we can. There we go. We escaped. So yes, you can run from fights. And um, as long as you don't attack the enemy, you won't get any XP for that. So, that's jolly good. But I, I could have sworn the... Wow, the encounter rate is kind of high. No bite bugs. I don't want you. Booger off. I really, really want to fight something different. And again, I mean, I could probably get the cure spell from an enemy in the forest, but I would like more blizzards as well. That is assuming that I can get the glacial, uh, the cure spell from the glacial eyes. I, I could have sworn you could though. If they would like to actually appear, I think we're in luck. Yes, here we go. This is the thing. It's like a floating sea creature that's out near the mountains. It's really rather odd. Um, but let's draw some cure spells. We will try and weaken this thing. I only got three cures, that's kind of crappy. I have no idea how much HP this thing has, but it won't have too much. But yeah, we'll grab as many cure spells as we can. And I figured out what the speed up function is as well. You click in the left stick, and look how fast we're going. Oh my god, that is just such a nice feature. I'm so glad they added this. Just like they did to 7 and 9's uh, PS4 ports and on the Switch too. Um, only problem is, I tend to waste a lot of time with the speed up function. Alright, let's, uh, let's try and card this thing. And there we go, so we weakened it enough, and we got a Glacial Eye card, obviously. So this is a nice way of uh, boosting your card collection as well. No XP, but we do get 1 AP. Yay! Okay, nice. So we do have some Cure Spells now, which is great. I'm going to give those to Quistis. Uh, actually, no, do I want to? I know Quistis has technically more magic right now, but... Uh, it doesn't really matter. Hmm. I really, yeah, we want to learn strength, though. The strength junction. So let's, um, let's head into a forest. And we just made it. That is the fire cavern, by the way, straight ahead. But if we run around in the forest, we should encounter a caterpillar type thing. There it is, and he's got some friends with him. Ah, we've got a back attack too, so we gain the advantage. So let's um, let's try and weaken the bite bugs. Kind of hard to target the right thing, but obviously, actually, no, it's not because they're in the menu. You just go up and down. Okay. 
Now, those bite bugs, because they're so weak, we might be able to card them straight away. Which would really, really be nice. There we go. An Elverick! Oh my gosh, guys, that is crazy. That is a really rare card. There is a very small chance of getting that from those enemies, and it looks like I just got it. That never happens for me, ever. Wow. And yeah, you can get Cure from these things and something else. Thunder! The Thunder Spell. Nice. Cool. Aw, oh, really, Bite Bug? Really? No, we'll hit it one more time with Squall. That should be enough. Doo, 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 doo. How good is this battle music? Oh, it's one of my favorites ever in any game ever. All right, let's get some. Uh, we'll get some more thunders. But yeah, I think I might actually get rid of the GF command. With uh, we won't be summoning Quetzalcoatl if that's the case. But I do want to be able to draw more magic at this point in the game. So. Uh, we'll weaken it a little bit. Get some more cures as well. Yeah, and because we're we're drawing uh, from these things with Squall, who doesn't really have much magic at this point, we're not getting too much, which is annoying. But easily rectified. I reckon we'll go for another card in a minute. A second. So like I said, getting magic from enemies this way is super tedious. But uh, there we go, so we're not going to get any XP for that fight either. That's good. Get some more cards in case we... Well, we will be losing cards uh, at this point in the game because we really don't have any good ones. So the more you have, the better. Uh, and we got some magic stone pieces, which are used to... Uh, you can change those into spells, or they can be used to uh, build up your weapons, which we'll go into later. A spider web, I believe. Yes, Quistus can learn blue magic, ultra waves. And um, Shiva has learned strength junction. So, Quistus is this game's blue mage. And if you don't know what a blue mage is, they use enemy abilities. But obviously we need to teach her these from items. So we are going to do that. We're going to give her her first blue magic spell, Ultra Waves. I don't remember what that does. Um, but she can't just use it straight away. It's her version of a Limit Break. And Limit Breaks are special things, special attacks, that you can only use when your health is low. Or there is a slight chance you can use it without your health being low, but it's pretty rare. So anyway, uh, we'll show those off soon enough, I'm sure. Let's see, what was I going to do? What was I going to do? Yeah, let's see our junctions again. So we can now increase Squall's strength, which is um, 17 at the moment, but we can raise it to a whopping 18. Ooh. I'm going to put the fire spell on that one. Because we're going to be able to get more fire spells from the fire cavern, believe it or not. So, Squall will be able to hit a little bit harder very soon. Uh, yes, let's change Quistus' abilities. Uh, we'll get the draw command back on for now. I mean, I could get rid of magic, I suppose. Uh, but then again, she does have all the blizzard magics, and she does have the higher magic stats, so that would be silly. And, uh, yeah, there we go. So, should we enter the fire cavern? Are we ready? I'm not 100% sure. How much magic do we have? How many blizzards do we have? Quistis. We've only got 15. I mean, that's... The fire cavern is pretty damn easy, honestly. I just like to make sure I'm as prepared as possible. Um... So, what I might do... A little bit quickly off screen. I'm gonna grind for a little bit more magic. It won't take too long. I will be right back. Man, you gotta love that speed up function. That really didn't take too long. All I did was I got a few more fire spells. 
so Squall can hit a bit harder. Uh, and Quistis also got some fire spells, so I'm going to try and swap those over. So if we go into Magic, Exchange, she has... Oh, wait, she's got Fire Junctioned already. Oh, yeah, okay, so her magic's actually gone up. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that then, and Squall's uh, strength has gone to 21, because he has more fire spells. That will um, that will suffice, actually. So, without further ado, let's uh, finally go into the Fire Cavern and undertake our seed exam. Or one of the seed exams, I should say. And... Uh, Quistis is going to tell us now how to junction magic, but obviously we already know that. So I'm going to skippy skip. When you draw a new magic, try experimenting with it when you junction. Yes, 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 yes. I am ready to go, I think. Oh, you know how to use your gunblade? Yes, I already know. I'm really bad at it, but I do know how to do it. Oh, Quistis was concerned for us. So yes, this is the fire cavern. Well, the entrance to it, anyway. We've got these garden uh, faculty... ...dickheads. I, I, I hate these guys, and you will you will see why I hate these guys later on, but I'm not the biggest fan. Uh, I also don't like the fact that they're pretty faceless, and, you know, they're just pretty intimidating. Not very friendly folk. Uh, I'm gonna quickly heal myself. That'll do. Got some scans as well. That's going to help. And we have the card ability. Right, let's do this. Objective. To obtain a low-level GF, a seed member must support. Are you ready? Uh, I am. I am ready, yes. I'm ready. I'm his support. Instructor number 14, Quistis Trepe. Select a time limit. Choose one suited to your abilities. Cha uh, challenging yet reasonable. Now, there is um, there is a, me uh, a mechanic at work here, where if you do this as close, or, well, if you if you pick twenty minutes, for example, and you do this in like ten minutes, you would think you've done really well, yeah. But no, that's not how it works. You've got to pick a, a time limit and then try and do it in as close to that time as possible, okay? So, I'm actually... I'm di oh, I'm so tempted to go for 10 minutes. But, there is also a bit of an exploit, I've been told, so thank you, uh, J-Jam, right? I may have been aware of this, but I, I have forgotten over the years, possibly. But I will explain it later. We're going to go for 20 minutes, just to give us a little bit of breathing room. Uh, very well, good luck. Because I wouldn't mind spending a little bit of time in the cavern, maybe uh, just getting a bit more magic and stuff. So, yes, time limits are never usually fun. But this one really isn't too bad. Um, my job is to support you in battle. Everything else is up to you. Fine. Look at this place. They don't call it the Fire Cavern for nothing, chaps. And this goddamn music. You know, the boys often choke on this test when I come with them. I guess my charm makes them nervous. Whatever. Come on, Squall. You know she's you know she's pretty hot. I'm just kidding, trying to keep you relaxed, that's all. Quistis is so nice to Squall, and Squall is just uh, he has no tact, okay? By the way, um how how warm is Squall gonna be? He's wearing a big thick winter leather jacket. Probably leather pants. I don't know what they're made of. Uh, gloves. He always wears gloves. He must be sweating his tits off in here. Uh, but this place really isn't too big, either. And our first fight. There's a few different enemies in here. Ah, we've got some red bats. And you know what? Because I'm so used to, like, emulating this game. Where it has, um... A really hazy heat wave uh, effect where everything's super blurry. This is a nice change. I can see what's going on. And um, yeah, we can actually draw more thunders from these things. More scans, should you desire. We'll grab some thunders. Yeah, I love the fire cavern. I love the look of it. It's, uh, it's really different from pretty much every other area in the game. 
And it's weird that this place exists on Balam, which is such a nice little island. You know, you don't really expect a place like this to exist. We're, you know, really close to the lovely beaches and the town itself, which we've not been to yet, but I'm looking forward to it because it is a lovely relaxing place. Um, we're probably going to murder these things in one hit. And they're really, really weak, so I'm not going to bother with a critical. Yeah, 60 HP and the down. That's really bad. The pathetic red bats. That means I'm going to have... Oh, and Quistus did get a critical, so... I'm afraid we're going to get some XP for this, but again, I'm not too bothered. I'm going to try to remain low level as I can, but yeah, we didn't even get much anyway. So, more magic stone pieces, not bad. 2 AP. Oh crap, you know what, I didn't even change what G uh, Shiva's learning. Crap. Because always they default to learning the summon magic plus 10%, which yeah, you know, raises Shiva's damage, but it's really not a priority for me. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do, I'm either going to learn uh, Water Ice Magic Refined from an item, or possibly just go straight for this one, which would be super good once we get it. You can uh, junction magic to your element attack, so if you junction the fire spell to your attack, you'll do fire damage, you know, which will do more against certain types of enemies. It's a really th good thing to have, but it will take ages to learn, if I don't grind, that is, which... Um, Spoiler alert, I probably will at some point. So for now, I'm going to go for the uh, Ice Water Magic Refine. I think that'll do. Uh, I could go for Spirit plus 20%, which... Um, yeah, th those abilities are good, but not right now, really. Spirit uh, is... It's good. It's okay. We could go for Vitality, which uh, is pretty much defense. And Spirit's Magic Defense. I think... But yeah, we'll, we'll stick with that for now. Let's see what else we can fight in here. Still got 16 minutes. Plenty of time. Now there is a draw point over here. Which will give us more fire spells. No shit, I know, right? Let's give that to Squall. 10 fire spells, beautiful. So what's his strength like now? That's uh, gone up to 22, which is a good strong number, I think. Don't don't you agree? Uh, what are we going to fight this time? Bombs and bats. And another back attack. Bomb, an elemental monster. Use an ice attack for these. Yes. So, they're going to be super weak to ice. We can draw fire from the bombs as well. That's all they're going to give us. I'm gonna draw a few more of that. A few more of those. Um, I'm gonna try and weaken the bombs. Now, of course, Shiva would absolutely destroy those things, being an ice GF, but again, I wouldn't mind trying at least to card those bombs. I'll kill the bats and get rid of them. Oh, wow! Okay, we got pretty lucky with that one. I don't think we weakened that bomb very much at all. I know they have a little bit more HP. And yeah, as you saw, they do pretty decent damage with the fire spell. Which kind of sucks. Doo -doo -doo. So we'll try uh, and card this one as well. We're going to get lucky twice. Twisters look so pretty with a new character model. Okay, not this time. Okay, six more fires. So, if we speed up, does the time limit speed up too? No, it doesn't. That's interesting. That is interesting. This bomb just does not want to be carded. Now, Bombs, of course, the staple Final Fantasy enemy. Usually, uh, in Final Fantasies, when you attack them, they will start growing and eventually explode and do tons of damage. I'm not sure if these ones do that. I don't remember. Like, we've attacked this thing a few times and it's not growing, so I, I'm not sure if it's... Dude! We are getting super unlucky now, for some reason. 
Okay, well, it's got to be weak enough now, surely. Yeah. Good job we did stock a few cure spells. And there we go. Jolly good. So we've avoided most of the XP in that fight and got some bomb cards, and they're actually pretty good. More magic stone pieces, 4 AP, and Shiva leveled up. Now, yeah, I don't know if there's any hidden draw points in this place, because there are hidden draw points. You can't see them unless you use a certain GF ability, but you can still, if you know where they are, you can still use them. Oh! And I think this is the last enemy in here that we've not seen, which is a Buell. And this is another thing that's really weak, that we're probably not going to be able to avoid one-shotting, but it's a really cool-looking enemy. I like it. And it has pretty much all of the elemental uh, spells, too, which is pretty cool. So we're going to grab some more blizzards. I think that'll do. Because we, again, we are on a time limit. We can't really afford to dilly-dally. Yeah, look at that. 65 HP, it's dead. So, again, we're not going to get much XP for that. 10 and 12. Yeah, and by the way, as you can see, the person that deals the killing blow gets slightly more XP. Right, we definitely need to heal, though. Uh, might as well use up some of Squalls. Right, we're nearly done with this place, though. Like, I don't know if there is a hidden draw point over here. I'm going to quickly check. I don't think there is. No. There might be. I might have just missed it, but I really don't know where many of those are. My memory is very hazy. I only know where specific ones are uh, that have stuck in my memory for some reason. A solitary bomb. We're actually just going to run away from this. Because we are slightly pressed for time. Well, not really. I think we'll still be okay, but I don't want to. I don't want to mess this up. Here we go. Look at this for an arena. Uh, I guess I was right. You and Cipher are in a class of your own. You both have amazing strength and potential. Yeah, and Cipher and Squall are the only ones that we know of. I think that actually use gun blades too. Gun blades are apparently a pretty difficult weapon to use. Uh, look at this lava. I mean. How many exams did you take in school, guys, that had you uh, go into a place like this? Not many. We've got a big fiery butthole in the in the ground, and um, this is it. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. You seem confident enough. Hello, Ifrit. And hello, boss theme. Oh, oh yes. Ah. Oh. Yeah, so your exam, you got to kill this guy, who uh, is actually a GF as well. So we're going to draw from Ifrit. He's got more fire spells, cures. So at least if you didn't get too many cure spells outside, you can get them here, uh, which is good. But um, we're going to summon G uh, Shiva. Because ice is super effective against fire. And we're going to use a blizzard spell, see how much damage we can do. Ninety-four. Okay, pretty good. Shiva taking the damage there. Very nice. But uh, yeah, you really want to summon Shiva in this fight because you get a cool little uh, bit of dialogue. And obviously, you're gonna do tons of damage, so it's uh, it's a no-brainer. Two hundred and sixty-two. Take that. They have Shiva. Yeah. So if it's a little bit scared now. One hell of an exam, this though. I mean, seriously. Oh, who's he gonna go for, Quistis? That's okay. But how good is this music, guys? Love the 
drums. I just love everything about it. You really are going to get sick of me humming along to the music. Not bad for a human. Thanks, Ifrit. I'm trying, you know. I'm doing okay. Spamming Shiva, you know. She's so pretty in this game. Oh my god, the remaster really did a nice job on her model. And they didn't really censor her like they have done other GFs in the game, which we'll see. Not that I really care, but it's weird that they didn't really alter Shiva's design when it's just as um, provocative. I don't know. Interesting. Anyway. Do -do 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 -do. Impudent humans. I think he's, he's probably nearly dead. Um, so we will actually... We'll, we'll scan him. Get the deets on Ifrit. I do love the scan screen in this. It's probably my favorite in the series. Uses fire magic. It's strong opponent, but uh, yeah, as it is uh, a part of Garden's exam, not impossible to defeat. And yeah, he's um, super weak against ice. Absorbs fire, so you can heal him with fire spells, and he only has 158 HP left. Level 6. So, yeah, we're definitely going to do this within the time limit, but I'm going to try and use a bit of an exploit. Because this Shiva is going to kill him. Do, 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 do. And yeah, you pretty much get more points for the exam. Although it doesn't tell you. It really doesn't tell you at all how many points you get for this until way later. Um, but yeah, you... Um, I underestimated Shiva very well. I will join you. What was I saying? I don't know. I was talking about the points. Um, apparently... If we uh, skip through this, we got a G Returner, which revives GFs if they die. Those are good items to have, although I very rarely have ever had GFs die. We got Ifrit's card. That is super important. That is going to help so much. We got 20 AP, boys and girls. Um, and we got Ifrit, which is pretty sweet. Now, apparently, I was told that um, the time limit is going down even in this um, screen. However, um, I don't see it. So we might have actually not done as well on this. Because um, I have no idea. Like, I can't tell, so confirm. Yes, we got Ifrit, by the way. He's joined us now. Yeah, the time limit's gone. Okay, so maybe I did mess that up. Maybe I misread it. There isn't much time, but let me go over this real quick. Because I mean, I know the time limit was going down when we scanned it for it, and we could have just stayed on that screen for, um, you know, forever, pretty much until... Uh, I kind of messed it up. Oh, well. Uh, good, you've got yourself a GF. We already have a GF. But this one actually gives us the uh, element uh, junction ability as well. And she's going to explain it to us. It's really simple. I'm going to go into it in a minute. So yeah, if we Junction Blizzard to our element attack, we can do more damage to these things in here. So yeah, we've done the uh, we've done the exam. Well, again, part of the exam. And um, yeah, we didn't do that particularly close. Like we we should have had the timer a lot lower than we did. Um, so yeah, so I must have messed that up. I'm really sorry. I probably didn't understand the method correctly. But here we go. He's got element attack already, which is great. We can actually increase our HP with him if we learn that too. Um, but for now, in fact, yeah, I might go for that. HP junction, possibly. Strength plus 20% is a nice one to have. you kind of spoilt for choice, though. That's the thing. It's... What do you go for first? Um, I'm going to go for the HP junction first. Yes. 
So you can learn element defense, which is, you know, obviously defending against a particular element. Um, we're going to give that GF to... Um, it's pretty pointless giving it to Squall because he's already got strength. So we'll give it to Quistis for now, even though, come to think of it, she is going to be leaving our party soon. But we'll show this off anyway for the uh, trip out of the cavern. Let's put some thunder on your strength and element attack. Blizzard, so we'll do 7% ice damage. Which, you know, every little helps. And yeah, well, so we got to get out of here now. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to get the most points from that exam. Oh well, I never really do get many points, honestly. No matter how many times I've played this game, I've never got the the best possible results. So I'm not I'm not that bothered. But yeah, pretty much if you guys want to do better, you want to make sure that time limit is as close to zero as possible by the time you beat Ifrit. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Quistis. We've done it. Oh, and this music again. I'm glad it's I'm glad it's back. One of my favorite tracks in the game by far. And just more bats, I'm guessing. Oh no, another Buell. Which, uh, yeah, I think I made a really bad joke in my uh, last stream of this game. I called him Ferris. Ferris Buell. You know? The, anyway, you know, you know, you know. We should do. Let's try and card it straight away without even hitting it. Let's see if we get lucky. No, no. The problem is, it's really hard to weaken this thing without killing it. But it really doesn't give you much XP, so I'm not too bothered. It does good damage, though. Boom, 109. Yeah, more magic stone pieces the better at this point. They will come in handy. Now, being that this is the remaster, uh, apparently I can turn off uh, encounters if I wanted to, to make this easier, but that's cheating. And there's already a mechanic in the game to re remove or reduce encounters anyway with a certain GF ability, so it's really, I'm not going to be using it at all until I get that GF. Um, and being as I can't be bothered dealing with those, these guys, Shiva is coming out to have some fun. Wipe these out in no time. And in fact, we might as well speed it up. Which, yeah, I'm not going to rely on this too much in, in the uh, Let's Play, but when it's just getting back out of an area or fighting things you've already fought before, we might as well. And oh boy, that, those sound effects. 3 AP. And Shiva has learned Ice Magic Refine, so let's change her ability. I really like the GF portraits, by the way. Really, really like them. Uh, let's have her start learning. Um, vitality? Yeah. What's it for it learning again? Oh yeah, element no, HP junction, that's what he's learning. Cool. Do 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 I'm just gonna run from these things actually. There's really no point. You don't get much AP from them. I just love how fast we run in the speed up, it's hilarious. So yeah, we're running from those things. We're nearly outside now. And there we go. And yeah, those garden guys have buggered off. So really, from what I can gather, Quistis... I mean, is she the one that's marking us here? Or was it the garden dudes, and how did they know how well we did? Because they've gone. Like, were they watching us the whole time? Can Quistis, like, bump up our score because we're her favorite student? I hope so. That'd be pretty cool. 
And uh, yeah, pretty much what we need to do now, or what we're supposed to do, is head back to the garden. But I am going to head to the uh, the nearby town. The town of Balam, you know, the, the namesake of this island and the, uh, the garden nearby. Make some more fires. We must be nearly maxed out on our fire spells now. Right, so I'll grab a few more of them. One fire, so that must mean we're maxed out with Quistis. Oh no, we're not! Oh yeah, we are. Sorry, we are. Cool. And my battery's low. Oh no! Right, let's just run. So yeah, as long as you don't attack the enemy, you don't get any XP. Um, so let's get back to the road. Oh my god, encounter rate. And uh, yeah, we might as well grab some more cures. And thunders. Then run away! Right, we're back on the road, so there's not any more. Well, there's no more encounters now, which is good. And yeah, the town is over this way, and that's really all there is to it. The, this island has not much at all. You've got the fire cavern, the balam, and the garden. That is it. But as you can see, <clears throat> there's some uh, some train tracks. So yeah, there is a railway in this world, which we will possibly be using at some point. Who knows? And, oh my god. Balam is awesome. I love this place. I wish I could live here. If I couldn't live at the garden, I'd want to live in Balam and then, you know, just take, take, uh, well, probably there isn't a school bus, I'm guessing, but just, you know, walk down the road to school in the mornings. Oh, and this music, man, it's so nice. I can perform almost anything, but my speciality is singing ballads. Come by and listen if you're interested. Okay. Hey, if you're a student of the, uh, you're a student at the garden, right? What's the news on the garden festival? Me and my girl are definitely gonna be there with our band, all right. I'll see you guys then. Oh, nice, cool. Oh, what a cute little car this is. Uh, hey, man, you interested in becoming a mechanic? I had an assistant, but he quit for some reason. You might have the right stuff to become a great mechanic. Why don't you give it a try, huh? Uh, I think my calling is uh, more, more, more violent than that, <laughs> I'd say. Oh yeah, there's a shop there, by the way. I forget what they sell. What do they sell? How nice is this music? Talk to me, shopkeeper. You seriously not talking to me? You can't talk to this guy? You serious? Wait a minute, I'm sure you... Maybe not at this point. Maybe not quite yet, then. I don't know. Got another draw point here. We've got a dude chilling on a bench. And, uh, yeah, we'll give those two... Quistis. Fifteen thunders. I think that might be the maximum. I'm not sure. That might be the maximum you can get from a draw point at any one time. Um, I might be wrong, though. Again, it... My memory is slightly hazy on a few things, so... Uh, so peaceful here, yet there's fighting going on somewhere at this very minute. Seeing you all reminds me of that. I'm not condemning you or anything. You totally are judging me. You totally are judging me, aren't you? Uh, we got some houses we can go in here. But, well, honestly, there's no point at this moment in the game, but... This, uh, this woman is um, the mother of a very important character. How's my rowdy boy doing? Oh yes, we we will we will see what she means very soon. Uh, but these are lovely little houses. I like this. And if we try and go upstairs, that's Zell's room up there. He's get he gets angry if anyone goes in. So I'd appreciate it if you didn't. Well, I would be pretty pissed too, my dinked. Um, I'm surprised you're so okay with us just wandering in here. You don't even know us. And we're trying to go up to your son's bedroom, unannounced. Who's this kid? Big bad rascal. Ugh, I'm so bored. I wish Zell would come over. 
Well, he's probably busy, you know, being a garden student. Got some boat oars here. And yes, an old issue of Timber Maniacs. I actually forgot that was there, so it's a good job. Oh wait, no, it's not. Oh, what a cock tease. I was going to say, I don't remember there being one in here, but yeah, it's fake. And uh, yeah, Timber Maniacs are uh, another set of magazines that you want to collect, really. So, okay, um, yeah, you can play cards with this woman, but not just yet. And we haven't even played cards yet. Oh my god, I'm nearly at the end of episode two, and I've not played cards yet. That's probably going to wait until next time. Um, I'm really sorry, I'm not going to be rushing through this game, in case you didn't notice. I really am going to take my time, take it all in, chat to as many people as I can. Um, these guys are, uh... Ah, now this is interesting, because... This conversation kind of heavily foreshadows uh, a lot of the plot, honestly. Uh, it's a god named Hein. Or at least it's a pretty interesting backstory, I should say. So he's, he's obviously telling his, uh, his granddaughter a little story here. So many in this world. Hein decided to reduce the number of people by taking away the children. What? Everyone was scared then too. And so the battle against Hein began. Even though the people were small, they all got together and finally cornered him. So he gave half of his body to the people and ran off with the remaining other half. Turns out Hein tricked the people. Oh. Pulled the old switcheroo, did he? Interesting. So yeah, you really don't understand that. And honestly, I kind of, I'm a little bit foggy on the details myself, but uh, there's a lovely little house here. They've got a nice cooking stove. Not sure where they sleep, but um, that's usually the case with RPG houses. They don't always have all the rooms you expect, like where the hell is the toilet? Do they have an outhouse somewhere in the yard? I don't know. And seriously, this draw point has just respawned already. Are you kidding me? Oh, this time we only got four. Wow. Uh, this is a shop here. That we can actually uh, talk to, but this is where you upgrade your weapons. So you don't buy new weapons in this game. You don't buy armor, which, um, you know, I like in RPGs. I prefer that, but I also do like this system where you upgrade what you already have. But um, right now we don't have the uh, necessary materials. Uh, we haven't got any magazines telling us how to upgrade stuff either. So, we'll come across those soon enough. Uh, I think we might as well head to the inn, which is here. Look at that water! Look at those water effects! Oh, this... Oh, the breeze. In fact, this song is called Breezy, I believe. Uh, very appropriately named. Uh, let's chat to this guy with the sideburns. Uh, the sea breeze sure feels good. Whole town filled with the wonderful aroma of the sea, and that is why my car rusts. <laughs> that side's not looking too good either. Yeah, I mean, yeah, pros and cons. So this is the inn, and uh, if we, we don't need to stay here, but I'm going to. I'm going to stay at the inn with Teach. Oh, yeah. 100 gil, we can afford that. Another save point, some lovely looking beds, lovely room, and uh, yeah, me and Quistis. Oh yeah. I've actually got a little figurine of Quistis, believe it or not, because I'm a nerd. But um, if you go over here, there actually is an issue of Timber Maniacs. You finished reading it, there we go. So there's really not many, I don't think there's much else to do here. I, there might be a draw point on the next uh, next screen somewhere, down at the harbour. Some people walk in. Got a, d a dog that actually, I'm not going to spoil too much, but that dog might be important later on. Getting tired. Look at that, look at the clouds, man. Look at that sky, looks absolutely incredible. We've got some women chatting, having a natter, spreading some gossip. Mrs. Dink's son is going to take the seed exam. He is, is he? 
Or is that everyone thinks he's pretty rowdy? I assume she knows about it. We've got this dude squatting near the uh, near the sea. Hey, instructor, uh, won't you have a seat? I could really use the company. Oh, he's hitting on Quistis. No, she's mine. She doesn't have time for your bullshit. All right, we, uh, while we're at it, we can go over the test you flunked the other day. Oh, damn. Maybe not then, dude. <laughs> he doesn't even say anything. He's like, yeah, shit, maybe not. Wow. Right, we uh, we don't have a hidden hit draw point here. You can just about see it. Another cure thing. Cool. Let's give that to Quistis. 14 cures. Beautiful. Right. Well, chaps, um, that's probably going to call this uh, an episode. I... We've done enough. You know, we did the seed exam, and again, I'm sorry if this is going to be boring to some of you, because I do like to, uh, I, I do want to take my time with this. I want to show off as much of this game as possible. Uh, next time, we're going to head this way, quickly, briefly, and we, we're probably going to start the card game. Uh, start playing some cards next time, and then we'll head back to the garden, uh, and yeah, see, see what happens next. Because that was only the first seed exam. Oh boy, you if you don't know what's coming next, you are in for a treat. One of my favorite parts of the game, actually. Uh, and I'm very excited to do it. So, thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed this um, episode of, of two parts, really. We had um, a lot of fighting, and then we've had a lot of just uh, mooching around. But yeah, I, I'm loving this game, guys. Ah, uh, <laughs> Final Fantasy VIII, thank you. Thank you for existing. Yeah, uh, please like the video before you go, uh, maybe subscribe if you're not subscribed, all that crap, and uh, maybe check the description if you have time for any info on if you want to help support this crappy channel on YouTube. I don't know, you don't need to. Just as long as you enjoy the videos, I hope. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye for now. This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.